And good morning. Thanks for watching at 8 a.m. I'm Lindsay Adams. Centers for Disease Control officials are currently looking into about 20 cases of children dealing with polio-like symptoms in Northern California. The children range from 2 to 12 years old, and the symptoms have even gotten the attention of Senator Barbara Boxer. Doctors at Stanford University say just this past week, they've discovered several children that have not been able to use their arms or legs. Doctors have not been able to identify exactly what the disease is, but say the first symptoms are similar to the common cold. There hasn't been a reported case of polio since the 1960s. You could have a flu-like illness, a fever, and just not feel good, muscle aches, and that could be all there was to it. You could have aseptic meningitis. The more severe cases then would develop paralysis. The children suffering the rare and mystery disease in the Bay Area have not recovered the use of their limbs. Any child showing sudden weakness or sudden paralysis should be immediately seen by a doctor. If you're still looking for information on getting health insurance through Obamacare, you can get your questions answered today. The Central Church of Christ is holding an Affordable Care Act enrollment event today from 10 till 1, and they'll help you with any questions you have about the new law and getting covered. Central Church of Christ is located at 425 South H Street. The Sheriff's Activities League will host their annual Fishing Derby event today to raise money for at-risk youth. And 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live from Hart Park with how Reason, this event is helping. Fishing. And Leslie, good morning. What you doing out there? A three-year-old caught a fish that's as tall as him. Okay, thanks, Leah. Beaver County, Pennsylvania will find it hard to fight any more snowy weather this winter. A fire ripped through a municipal garage yesterday, destroying their snow plows and salt trucks. County officials say they'll appeal to the transportation departments in nearby areas for help clearing roads this weekend. Well, pot is usually something parents don't want for their children, but one mother in Maryland is actually lobbying to get marijuana for her kids. She says it's to help save their lives. Twins Nicholas and Byron Moore were born with a severe form of epilepsy. Their mother Shannon says medical marijuana seems to help children that are like her boys. She says a Colorado girl was treated with an oil extracted from marijuana and she's now seizure free. Moore wants the oil for her own boys, but it's not legal, so she's attending some hearings telling her story. This is in hopes that politicians will change the law. Police in Colorado are looking for a man they say stole a car and then returned it after going on a shopping spree. Jim Kemeny says someone stole his wallet and his keys while he was working and stole his car too. Police say the thief then went out and used Kemeny's credit cards, racking up nearly $500 in charges. The next day, Kemeny found out that his car was returned. It was parked right here and returned right here. The car was open. Uh, the keys were in the, in the middle of the seats here. The battery was dead and it was out of fuel. Now, Kemeny says he found a business card of a parole officer left in the car, and police are using it to track down the suspect. Well, happening today, volunteers are taking part in a special event that helps those suffering from multiple sclerosis. The fifth annual MS Service Day starts at 9. Volunteers will meet at 1830th Street and embark to the different homes of those with MS to help with various projects. And work includes building wheelchair ramps, lowering shelves, and widening doors. This is video from 2011 where volunteers tied orange ribbons on trees downtown to recognize MS Awareness Week. Coming up on 23 ABC News, shots fired at a tax office. What led up to the shooting and who was hurt? We'll have details coming up. Stay tuned.